My name is Catherine Vero and I came up with the idea of slow shopping because of the experiences of shopping with my mum who lived with dementia. Slow shopping is a time in which you can go shopping and feel reassured that the staff are trained and that they have an awareness that there may be people in the store who need more help. Shopping is a, an underestimated activity because it enables people to feel independent, to make their own choices about the kind of food or clothes they want to wear. And it's an opportunity to get out and meet people and have a social interaction. And what we're trying to create in Slow Shopping is an opportunity for people who may feel concerned or worried about what might happen if they go shopping, if they get tired and they need to sit down, or if they get a bit confused, will anyone help them? And that might stop them from going shopping. So we're trying to create a space and a time in which anyone who needs that can come and enjoy a shopping trip. Slow shopping is for anyone who might find shopping more challenging and that might include someone who lives with a visible disability, it might include the elderly, those with a cognitive impairment such as dementia, it might include those with limited eyesight or those with a mental illness such as anxiety. So the investment from the store really is around the time that it takes for staff to do the training and read the booklets about what's possible. Apart from that, there are just some more small changes that we come up with that will support your customers. So it's not a one-size-fits-all, it's about you looking at your community and what you can do to support them. Not all disabilities are visible and everyone has different needs. The small changes that you can make in your store can have an enormous impact on the lives of others. So thank you for your interest in slow shopping. You really can make a difference.